The snow has mostly moved out of the state line, but another storm is moving in. Most of the state line is under a winter weather advisory. Let's go back now over to Jordan in the Weather Center. Jordan, tomorrow's snow could be the biggest of the season. Yeah, that's right, Amy. And it's not really going to take a whole lot to top that. So we've only seen around two inches of snow for our highest total so far this year. Not going to take a whole lot to at least top that number, but I do think the steadier snow showers that we're going to be anticipating during the day tomorrow could very easily beat that mark. We do still see winter weather advisories across the area. That's for many of our counties north of Interstate 88, where the heaviest snow total, at least the higher confidence of the higher snow totals, are in place. Right now, it does look like we are going to get quite a few inches of snow from this and definitely very could well chance be able to beat that two inch mark. The fresh snow that we had yesterday also helping to bring some of that cooler air into the area. But first the snow that we are going to be anticipating coming in during the later part of the overnight tonight into the early tomorrow morning. I do think most of those snow showers start working their way in by the time we get to around eight o'clock in the morning and steady snow showers stick with us throughout much of the afternoon and even into the evening and overnight hours going into early Sunday morning. I don't think we get any breaks from the snow during this time. Looks like it's going to be a very steady snowfall. Not really too heavy with the, per, the rates of that snow, but the steadier snow lasting a little bit longer does provide some of those higher totals. By the time we get into early part of Sunday morning, most of those snow showers will have moved out of the area, but then we have to talk about the cold that's going to be coming in behind that because we're talking about fresh snow and some pretty strong high pressure coming into the area going to keep our temperatures a little bit lower toward the middle of the week. So once again, a winter weather advisory is in effect for places north of Interstate 88 with this system is going to be pretty much moving straight west to east across the area bringing that swath of heavier snow or at least powdery snow with the heavier totals anticipated. Then we've got to talk about the cold that's going to be moving in as well with the high pressure that's going to be coming in and the fresh snow we're dealing with. We're going to be talking about some temperatures that could be below zero at times toward the middle of the week. I'll let you know how much snow to expect from the system and how quickly that cold gets here coming up just a little bit. All right, thanks, Jordan. In anticipation of tomorrow's storm, many communities have already declared snow emergencies, including Rockford. That means the odd even parking rule will be in effect starting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Saturday is the 28th, so anyone parked on city streets needs to be on the even side of the street. That's so plows can clear the roads. The city has an app to help you navigate the streets during a winter storm. The Snow and Ice app provides information about things like snow emergencies and residential progress map. That map shows whether streets have been plowed. Majesney Park, Cherry Valley, and Beloit all have their winter parking rules going into effect tomorrow at 10 a.m. You can get up-to-date weather information on the First Warn Weather app. You can also see if there are any closures planned for the day. It's free to download for Apple or Android users.